Welcome back everyone to Planet Linux. The Cinnamon desktop environment, pioneered with Linux Mint over 10 years ago, has provided a familiar and easy to use Linux experience for both Linux newcomers and longtime users. And until recently, Linux Mint remains the primary way to experience the Cinnamon desktop. In fact, so much so that the Cinnamon interface would likely be assumed to be Linux Mint. Now sure, there have been some small community efforts over the years to get Cinnamon running on other distributions, but chances are that if you were running the Cinnamon desktop, you were probably running Linux Mint. But that's recently changed, as the recently released Ubuntu 23.04 now has an official Cinnamon flavor. While the project has been around for a few years as a strictly community-maintained affair, it now has official support from Canonical as one of the main Ubuntu flavors, meaning it should theoretically be ready for prime time. But this presents us with a choice and a few questions that we've never had to face before. Which of these options provides the best Cinnamon desktop experience? Does the Cinnamon desktop, developed by the Linux Mint team for Linux Mint, really work well on Ubuntu? And is Cinnamon really the ideal, no compromises experience that it once seemed to be? Well, let's start with the question written on the tin, the reason you're probably here. Both Linux Mint and Ubuntu Cinnamon provide the full Cinnamon desktop experience with all the desktop features working as you'd expect them to. And credit where credit's due, the fact that Ubuntu Cinnamon integrates all aspects of the Cinnamon desktop so well is impressive. From the desklet widgets being fully functional, to Cinnamon's native system settings app containing all of the system settings, Ubuntu Cinnamon really does provide the fully featured Cinnamon desktop with few compromises. If you've been a user of other Ubuntu flavors and are happy with every aspect of the standard Ubuntu experience, but you just like the look of the Cinnamon desktop, then Ubuntu Cinnamon will likely suit your needs as it provides the Cinnamon experience on top of a very standard Ubuntu base, with the typical Ubuntu software and updater utilities found in other Ubuntu flavors. Another plus for Ubuntu Cinnamon is that it will have a new release every six months with updated versions of packages and a newer Linux kernel which provides better support for the newest hardware. This is in contrast to Linux Mint, which does have frequent new releases with new features, but only occasionally provides updated packages, as it's based only on the long-term support versions of Ubuntu that release every two years. So Ubuntu Cinnamon may also be the way to go if you want access to the most up-to-date programs, or if you run the absolute latest hardware. Though, with the growing use of Flatpak and Snap packages these days, new versions of apps can be run on just about any distro now. But with all of that said, there is a reason that Linux Mint has become so popular over the years. The Mint developers have created a collection of apps and utilities that make using Mint day-to-day -day a truly seamless experience. For example, the Linux Mint welcome screen provides straightforward steps to set up your system the way you want, and make sure it's updated, backed up, and running as optimally as possible. While the welcome screen isn't specific to just the Cinnamon edition of Linux Mint, it is nonetheless a valuable welcome utility that is absent from Ubuntu Cinnamon, which doesn't provide really any sort of initial setup experience. Mint also has its own native software center and update utilities that make installing and updating apps really seamless. While the software manager doesn't look quite as nice as the Ubuntu software app, it does do the job well and shows both standard packages and Flatpak apps. And regarding the earlier point about Ubuntu Cinnamon including a newer kernel for hardware support, while Linux Mint often ships with a slightly older kernel prioritizing stability, it does have an easy-to-use kernel manager that allows you to install new kernel versions if desired. As well, because the Cinnamon desktop was originally developed specifically for Linux Mint, there are certain aspects of the desktop that don't play nicely on a standard Ubuntu base, despite the, all the efforts that's being done by the Ubuntu Cinnamon developers. For instance, the Linux Mint team has adamantly spoken out against Canonical's use of snap packages in Ubuntu, citing slow performance, poor integration into the rest of the system, and taking control away from the user with forced automatic updates. 
As such, the Cinnamon desktop appears not to have any considerations included for snap packages. When running any snap in Ubuntu Cinnamon, and there are quite a few of them since Canonical has started mandating them in Ubuntu, the apps don't respect the system theme at all. While this can be a limitation of snap packages themselves, it is possible to have them integrate with the desktop theme, but it seems that work hasn't been done with the Cinnamon desktop in general to allow this. This isn't strictly a criticism of Ubuntu Cinnamon. Linux Mint likely has the same issue, but because Linux Mint doesn't include any snap packages out of the box, and encourages installing flat packs and regular packages instead, you're less likely to face this issue. Another weird bug that I've encountered in Ubuntu Cinnamon revolves around the Cinnamon file manager, called Nemo, and bulk renaming of files. Normally, you can select multiple files and right-click them and choose the rename option, which will open a window to bulk rename multiple files at once according to a specific syntax or pattern. Well, selecting multiple files and clicking rename in Ubuntu Cinnamon just does nothing. Uh, it seems that the bulk rename program isn't installed. Essentially, if you're just looking for a solid user experience where everything just works, Linux Mint is still probably the way to go. While the effort put into Ubuntu Cinnamon is commendable, and it does a great job of showcasing the Cinnamon desktop on a standard Ubuntu base, it's hard to recommend unless that's exactly what you're looking for. Standard Cinnamon on standard Ubuntu. But this leads into an even bigger question, and that's whether the Cinnamon desktop is really the best desktop environment to be using these days. When it was founded in 2011, the Linux desktop landscape was very different. Cinnamon was created out of a necessity for the fact that the newly released GNOME 3 completely upended the traditional desktop experience, and many users were left without a familiar and comfortable user interface. And since then, Cinnamon has pioneered new features that eventually made their way into other desktop environments. But these days, there seems to be very little that Cinnamon does better than other desktops. Whether it be one of Mate's numerous layouts, the customizability of KDE, or even GNOME with a couple easily installed extensions like that found in Zorn OS, it's not hard to find or create a desktop experience that fits the traditional paradigm anymore. And many of these desktops are advancing new technologies in the same way that Cinnamon did 10 years ago, but has since stagnated with. Cinnamon doesn't yet support Wayland, which means it lacks modern one-to-one -one multi touch touchpad gestures. It used to have smoother window and mouse movements than the alternatives, but they've since caught up. Other desktops now support fractional display scaling and multi-monitor setups either to the same extent or better than Cinnamon. Now don't get me wrong, the Cinnamon desktop will always have a special place in my heart, and I do want to see it embrace these modern technologies and continue to improve, because it does still provide a very desirable out-of-the-box experience and a really clean user interface that's simple and easy to understand. But it's no longer the leading desktop that it once was, and I think the argument can be made that there are better desktops and distros available today than what Ubuntu Cinnamon can provide. Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition remains a go-to distro that nails ease of use, but trying to plop the Cinnamon desktop onto other distros just doesn't seem like the best use of efforts these days, when there are other superb desktops already available that can provide a similar, if not better, experience. Well, that's all been certainly a lot to take in, hasn't it? I do hope this video has helped you determine which option is best for you, or whether either of them is the best choice at all. If you have found this informative, then a like is greatly appreciated. If there's anything that you'd like to add, feel free to respectfully post in the comments. And to stay up to date with the latest content, I'd appreciate you subscribing to the channel and marking the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Planet Linux.